Okay, we're here with Derby Telegraph Chief Football Writer Steve Nicholson after Derby County's press conference today. Steve, first of all, what can you tell us about the latest Rams injury news? Yeah, uh, first of all, Chris Baird, the skipper, uh, he's still out. If you remember, he took a nasty knock on the head at uh, Preston. He sat out the Reading game, obviously with concussion, he kind of out seven to ten days. He's uh, now doing some training, but he hasn't really joined the group as yet, and Paul Clements just told me that he won't be available to face Burnley. Uh, Craig Bryson is still out, uh, picked up that knee injury on the opening day at Bolton. Uh, he's still feeling some discomfort, so he's had a, a slight setback, but nothing too serious, and again, they're hoping he'll return to training soon. Uh, but some good news, George Thorne, he's back in training today. Uh, he's missed two games with a calf problem he picked up against Leeds. So if everything goes okay in the next two or three days, he should be in contention for the Burnley game, and we may well see a midfield three of George and the two new boys, Bradley Johnson and Jacob Butterfield. And good news today for Johnny Russell, Steve. He's signed a new deal. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, new three-year deal. His uh, current deal had just under two years to run. Uh, he joined the club in summer of uh, 2013. Bit of an in-and-out time. He had a couple of bad injuries. He broke his leg and he had a fractured cheekbone. But... In pre-season, you know, he really shone pre-season, scored four goals in six games, and he's taken that form into the season, which is always crucial. I think also uh, the credit to Johnny, I think, and the deserved, uh, he deserves his contract because he's really kind of faced the competition for places because Derby signed Tom Ince in the summer and Andreas Weinman, of course, and there's still Simon Dawkins there. But uh, Johnny's really knuckled down and, and showed he deserves a place in the team, so the, the contract's deserved. And Kevin Phillips has joined the coaching staff as well this week. He was at the press conference today. What, what did he have to say? Yeah, I met Kevin Phillips today for the first time. Uh, straight into training today, no kind of uh, easing him in. He was writing at, writing at the deep end, uh, which he said is the best way to do it. Uh, he feels this move is the next step on the coaching ladder for him. He's come from Leicester City, where he was uh, on the coaching staff. Some people might think, well, why have you swapped Leicester City, who was second in the Premier League, and dropped back down to the Championship? But coaching career paths go very different ways and uh, he sees this as an opportunity to work with Paul Clement and progress his career. He does, he says, wants to be a manager one day. So again, you know, it's all about getting as much experience as possible on board. Uh, and he's really looking forward to it. He worked with the strikers most of the time at Leicester. Uh, he's going to have a wider role at Derby, but I'm sure he'll be passing on his experience to the strikers. We must remember that this is a player who scored almost 250 league goals in his career uh, for, for many clubs, many different clubs he scored and uh, it was interesting because I made him laugh really because I said have you got any happy memories of uh, the IPO Stadium, formerly Pride Park and of course he has, it was uh, 16 years ago today, the very day, he scored a hat-trick in uh, Sunderland's 5-0 win here so he remembers that very well but I'm sure on Monday he'll be hoping for a derby win against Burnley.